Good morning. I'm starting a job today, and uh, I'm hoping that you realize it is a place of worship. Whenever a homeowner, a building owner, needs an estimate, you have to make a decision on what kind of contractor or the contractor that you want to use. The best way to check out a contractor or somebody who's going to do jobs for you is references. It's always better to call and contact um, someone that the company or the contractor did work for. In the decision-making process, you can make mistakes. In this case, there's an entire board that analyzes uh, the credentials and checks out a contractor. Unfortunately, they made a bad decision originally back in the summertime on the contractor they decided to go with. Unfortunately, he did take $12,000 of their money and he is nowhere to be found. It happens. We're going to go inside and we're going to see how important this job is. We're in the basement. This area is going to be a school. So you're going to have school children down here. This is as far as the original contractor intended to go. Just bypass the command. Because this here, that's the footer. Right there is the edge of the footer. This trench has to go down to the bottom of the footer here which means more concrete has to be broken out and the trench has to be dug at, at least this wide. The mortar joints in the block have not been drilled out. And it's imperative that whenever you're drilling out weep holes, you get to the mortar joint. Okay, whenever I do estimates, there's a common question that comes up. What dimensions are the trench? The conditions on the job determine the dimension of the trench. The trench has got to be up to 10 inches wide from the footer. And it's got to be down to the bottom of the footer. This footer is extra wide. If I told the customer specifically that the trench was going to be 10 inches wide by 12 inches deep, well, there's 10 inches. It doesn't even pass the footer. The dimensions of this trench are roughly 21 inches by about 14, roughly 14. Well, on any job, has got to make a call. You have to have responsible people on the job to ensure that the system is going to work forever. Before we started this project, the dwelling had mold. And as I said, uh, this is going to be a classroom for the older children. The next room is going to be another classroom. We have to absolutely make certain that there's never going to be any mold in here. Now, the entire building has been sprayed down with a mold detergent, killing all the existing mold, and the mold has been cleaned off. The paint on the walls is a microbial sealant. Mold or fungus is not going to be able to penetrate uh, this paint. Condensation can occur if you have a finished basement or a finished wall with insulation in it. You've got heat here, and then you have a cold wall. Condensation can build up on it. For that purpose, we use a poly wall shield, and this is going to be attached to the wall and it's going to be tucked behind what we call a mirror drain, and this will prevent it from building up on the block.